firefighters busy as they work to contain a house fire. The flames broke out just after 9 last night in the 2800 block of Mahan Street. KRCR News Channel 7's Mark Mester was at the scene just moments after fire crews contained the blaze. And Kelly, good morning to you. And new on daybreak this morning, firefighters are working to determine the cause of this structure fire. And as you can see, the fire is put out behind me, but it was a whole lot of a different picture just a few hours earlier. Have a look at this video shot by our chief photographer, Adam McAllister. You can see flames were shooting into the sky. Also, one of the main issues was there was a down power line causing what appeared to be somewhat of a fireworks show, those down power lines creating quite a problem for firefighters. They had to wait for RU to arrive on scene to discharge those power lines so they could fight this fire. And if you come with me over, just real here for a quick second, we're joined by Michael Bachmeyer of the Reading Fire Department. How long did it take you guys to extinguish this blaze? Uh, we had containment of the fire within about 30 minutes of being dispatched to the scene. Okay, and then what was the scene was, uh, when you arrived? Was anyone injured in this fire? Uh, no, there were no injuries as a result of this fire. Uh, the initial crews uh, responding uh, uh, showed up and gave a size up of the fully involved single family dwelling with frame structure uh, with heavy fire showing from the street side or the alpha side as we were uh, Initial reports to 911 was that there potentially was a victim trapped inside. However, even though with the hazard of the down power line, the crews were able to make a quick entry and a primary search and then a, a quick secondary search after that confirmed that was all clear. And I think one of the big questions too right behind you is where that down power line was creating those sparks earlier tonight. How much did that hamper the effect of putting out this blaze in a timely manner? Uh, absolutely. It slowed us down. Uh, initially the crews most likely would have gone to the front door to make entry. However, the power line was laying right across the driveway blocking that entry. Uh, they did were able to uh, to put a hose stream through the front door from a safe distance and then quickly go to the rear of the structure to make entry and push the fire back to, to uh, a, a safe location. All right, thanks for your time, Michael. And Kelly, as you can see, all the structures surrounding this house are intact, so firefighters did one heck of a job containing this fire just to this structure right here. We are awaiting new details on this structure fire. Anything that comes into our newsroom, we will pass along. Reporting for Daybreak this morning, Mark Mester, KRCR, News Channel 7. And Mark also spoke with the homeowner overnight. She did not want to go on camera, but told us she's now staying with the Red Cross. Wildfires continue to...